this book is. Happy Easter, Curious George. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Today, George and the man were going to the park as a special treat. George was curious at the moment they got to the park. It was Easter and the park was full of people. There were so many bright colors and many things for a little monkey to do. Children were flying kites high in the sky and decorating Easter baskets. They were even having races rolling eggs. Then George saw a small coral with the sign on it. What could be inside? A soft white bunny. He patted the bunny and fed it a carrot. But what was this? People were dyeing Easter eggs yellow and blue and pink. George was curious. He had never dyed an egg before. George dyed an egg yellow. Then George had an idea. With yellow and red, he made orange. With yellow and blue, he made green. And with red and blue, he made purple. He dyed eggs as only a monkey can, four at a time. Then he painted the eggs with swirls, with polka dots, and with stars. They looked like brightly colored balls. George could not resist. He even juggled them. Oh no, shouted a woman. The Easter Bunny's gone. But George didn't notice because just then he saw a man losing one egg, then another, then even more eggs. In an instant, George grabbed the basket and began to help the man find them. George found the eggs here and he found eggs there. He had almost collected them all when a boy said, Hey, that monkey's taking the Easter eggs. Stop, thief! George was so busy that he did not even hear him. Then he saw another egg, a white egg under some bushes, perfect for dying. It wasn't an egg at all. It was a bunny's tail. How surprised George was. He patted the bunny and placed it in his basket on top of the eggs. Hey, that monkey found the Easter bunny, said a girl. Hurrah, cried a boy. Everyone congratulated George. Now that the Easter bunny is safe and sound, George, said the man with the yellow hat, can you hide all of the eggs you gather so the children can find them? For this job, he was lucky to be a monkey. George hid the eggs in all the places um, a curious monkey would. It was the best egg hunt ever! After the hunt, George and the man with the yellow hat waved goodbye to their new friends. As George and his friends drove away, the children waved back calling out, Happy Easter, George! The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where George was mixing the colors to make different colors for his eggs. I hope you liked the story. Thank you for reading with me.